Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back in to SoCal Safari. And as promised, we have a very special guest on our show this month. Ladies and gentlemen, none other than Hall of Fame, the Blues Hall of Fame member, Daryl Mansfield. Thanks for joining us, Daryl. Hey, my pleasure, Eric. It's great to be here on the safari. My first experience seeing you, and, I, and I'm ashamed that I didn't see you earlier, I saw you at Campbell Beach Church about a year ago. And when I saw you, man, it was, it was amazing. It was basically, it kind of changed my life a little bit. Yeah, for me, the music is, is just uh, a platform to share about life's uh, stories, life's ups and downs, and uh, we all go through all that. It's the messages that you tell in between the songs, too. This is something really meaningful and impactful to your life. Now, there's a lot of people out there that suffer with uh, mental illness. You see a lot of homeless people. Uh, they're self-medicating. You know, my heart breaks because uh, my life story, I suffer from depression all my life and uh, when I was 21 as I attempted suicide and I, and, uh, and I went like 30 years and before I had another episode but the old saying you, you can't have the blues unless you pay your dues and it don't come easy Ringo Starr wrote that God bless him he's clean and sober today career dating back to like 1974 you've been uh, a pioneer in Christian rock and somebody wouldn't expect these issues to be happening somebody like that so many musicians also medicate through the years of as I've seen so many unfortunately that were successful and go through uh, this life uh, trying to deal with their depression or bipolar disorders and stuff like that so we're in a body of sin and death you know it's just you know, you, you can't help the fact that, uh, you know, you have these, these issues, but to deal with them and properly deal with them, now that we have this awareness. Now, obviously, with all these issues, uh, maybe that does make you the great blues musician that you are. You know, I'm a spokesman now for for mental health. I've been the Grand Marshal uh, for NAMI walks to bring awareness to those who suffer. It's great that people in the world are waking up to these issues. And it was such a taboo in the past, and people didn't want to talk about it. But then overcoming it, getting help, and seek help. Seek help, and don't be embarrassed about it. Talk about it. If you're feeling suicidal, tell somebody. Thank you. 